you don't know what Staten Island is, it's like New York's abortion that live. It's just a shitty place. Nah, there's, like, there's good people everywhere, but like not in Staten Island at all. Let's give it up for Pete Davidson. Yay! What's up, adults? How you doing? You good? I, uh, I just dropped out of college. Anybody else? Yeah! I, uh, I dropped out because I was dorming, and uh, I didn't like dorming. That's it. I, I didn't speak to any of my roommates. And I think it's because, like, the first morning, we, we all woke up with a boner, and we were like, this isn't for any of us. <laughs> One time, we ran out of toilet paper, and we just didn't get any. But everybody took a shit every day and nobody knew what they used. It was like this don't ask, don't tell policy that we had. One time a roommate came out of the bathroom with one sock. I was like, fuck, we need toilet paper. Holy shit. This is getting real. I have no game with women, uh, cause I went to an all boy Catholic school which is like an educational cock block. That's just, it's not very fun. Here's something that should never happen in an all boys school. Uh, don't get an erection. There's no excuse for that at all. It just shouldn't happen because there's priests there. And priests are like sharks when you get a cut in the water. I got my priest to stop hitting on me though. It was easy. I introduced him to my little brother. I got an A. Uh, I'm a pothead, I'm pretty sure you could tell. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I smoke weed because the commercials against it suck. Like, the, cig the cigarette commercials are good. They're good, the lady has no fingers. I'm like, nah, I need those. How am I gonna smoke weed with no fingers? There's certain things I can't do when I'm high. Uh, I figured this out recently. Uh, I can't play Call of Duty because I'm afraid of dying. As Soon as the game starts, I just hide behind a rock. I'm like, you guys go. I'm gonna listen to these fifth graders call me a homo for the, the next 32 minutes. All my friends are black. If you can't tell by my sneakers, Jordans. You ever have a black guy compliment your sneakers? You're like, oh wow, these must be cool. <laughs> if a white guy compliments my sneakers, I'm like, I'm gonna throw these out. These must... <laughs> what do I look like, I have a kid coming? <laughs> I, uh, I'm from Staten Island, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> you guys don't know what Staten Island is. It's, uh, it's like New York's abortion that lived. Like, it's just... <laughs> It's this awful place where dreams die. And um, I'm from there. Like, the only good thing we have are women sex offenders. I think that's awesome. It's actually why I still live there. If I turn on Fox News and the guy's like, woman rapes three kids and he's 13 to 17 in the woods. I'm like, Ma, I'm going camping. You got that Boy Scout outfit from third grade? It won't fit you. That's the point. Yeah. How are you guys, you good? Yeah. I'm uh, very depressed, everybody. <laughs> I am, I just turned 20 and um, it's over. It's done, I just moved out of my mom's house and I've realized something. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not, I thought about it. I'm 6'3", I'm 140 pounds. I have a problem with wind. <laughs> My friend's like, you want to go out? I'm like, you got to check the forecast first. <laughs> I might lose a friend. When I used to live with my mom, I just thought she was annoying. I thought she was annoying, and she cock-blocked my masturbation time. That's all I Because she was the room next door, so every time I would get it going, I would, like, hear her sneeze, and it would throw off my timing. And I'm like, I can't finish now. Mommy's sick. <laughs> she might need these tissues. I miss living in my mom's house. When I used to live in my mom's house, I used to be able to jerk off in my bed, and then the next day, it would be gone. 
Now I live on my own. It just stays there. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere until I move. I don't have the same fears I do now, though, jerking off by myself than when I live in my mom's house. Because I used to jerk off in my mom's bathroom, you know, because it smelled nice and there was lotion. And I just realized now I was jerking off to my mom's scent, so that's fucking weird. Anyway, uh, just hit me. No, but it was I, my biggest fear, because I used to jerk off in her bathroom all the time, and sometimes I would finish on the toilet seat. And my biggest fear is that one day she would just sit on it and get pregnant. <laughs> Every day I would clean my bathroom. My mom had no idea what was going on. She was just like, you're such a good boy. <laughs> and I'm like, you have no idea what I'm trying to prevent right now. <laughs> I had to move out. I had to move out of my mom's house. It got really weird. Uh, she bought me condoms. All right. And it's fine if you're a mom and you want to buy your son condoms. It's just a way to do it. You know, if you want to get your son condoms, just get them and leave them in his room. Don't tell him. He'll find them. That's the way to do it. That's not what my mom did. My mom did something really weird, right? It was really weird. I was still staying at her house at the time, and it was like 11.30 at night, and she just barged in. She didn't text, knock, just barged in, and she was just like, hey. Something for you. And I was high, so I was like, what the fuck? Is going on? This is a little weird. And I swear to God, I turned on the lights. This is what she does. She has it, she had it behind her back and she pulls out a 40 pack. And I swear to God, this is what she does. She goes, I got every kind for my baby boy. And then she winked at me, and I was like, You're giving the fucking weirdest vibe I've ever received in my life, mom. I know you're single, I'm not the guy. I think it's time to move out. This is really weird. And she got me the 40 pack. I wanted to be like, who do you think your son is? <laughs> I didn't even get to use them. I just opened all of them and left them around their house. So she would find them and think I was cool. I did, she found one the other day. She called me, she was like, I found another condom. I'm like, yeah, you did, that's your boy. I used to get bullied because I wanted to be a rapper in high school. I wanted to be a rapper. And my name would be uh, VIP. It's kind of a dope, is it right? No, it's kind of good. It's kind of a dope name. It's kind of a dope name. You could agree, it's a good name. But I always used to listen to hip hop, never had friends, so I used to just hang out and listen to hip hop because it would be motivating and hip hop makes you feel good about yourself. But the weird thing would be like my friends are all in their mid 30s, early 40s. So like they like a different type of hip hop, like they love Biggie. And the way, I like Biggie too, but the way that, all right, relax. Uh, yeah, he's not here, obviously. Uh, yeah. I know, that wasn't easy, but you threw it up and I fucking dunked it, so fuck all of you. How's that? Um, anyway, no, but when my older friends talk about Biggie, like they talk about him, like they're like, huh, notorious. You know, they, they, feel, they feel it. They're like, oh, this, 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 he would have been the best. They were like, if he was alive today, he would have been the best, you know? It's so sad that he died. And I always try to make them feel better because I feel for them. And I'm like, it's probably better that he died back then than like now of like natural causes. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's better he got shot than it'd be like a burger that took Biggie down. <laughs> Biggie died on Crenshaw, what happened? Burger. It was a burger. <laughs> My favorite rapper is Coolio. I love Coolio. Yeah. He's still alive. You know, he's been alive forever and he's a cook, so, you know, he's healthy and he's not going anywhere. He's a reliable guy to, to love. Like, I never wake up like, oh, what's happening to Coolio? You know what I mean? I know he's out there somewhere. Love fucking Coolio, he's the man. Yeah. First time I ever heard Gangsta's Paradise was in a movie. Yeah, right? Most of you probably know the song from Dangerous Minds. I wasn't alive when that was a thing. I know it from Pain and Gain, the weightlifting Michael Bay movie. <laughs> so, and another reason why I love listening to uh, Gangsta's Paradise is there's no N-words in it. So like I could sing it drunk and not like fuck up. 
You know what I mean? It's like I can sing it confidently all the way through, no matter where I am. I don't have to worry. I grew up in Staten Island, and when you grow up in Staten Island, you're just probably gonna be a construction worker that beats his wife. Like, you know, like that's, it's like the best you could do. You know, so I would listen to Gangsta's Paradise, and it would make, you know, like maybe I can get out of Staten Island. <laughs> we'll do some 9-11 jokes, and then we'll get the fuck out of here. How's that sound? <laughs> it's hard to transition into anything. I don't have, I don't know if you noticed anything about my comedy, but there's, there's not many transitions. It's very like, dick, fuck, dad. Like, it's like very straightforward, easy listening comedy. Like, you know, it's not the Kendrick Lamar. I'm very French Montana of comedy. <laughs> like, after every joke, I should just be like, ha! Ah, and you'd be like, aha! I get it. So, yeah, my dad, if you don't know, he was a fireman. He died 9 11. He was a very good dude. Uh, and I have a lot of jokes about it. And if you don't like the first one, you probably won't like the rest. <laughs> What's cool about your dad dying on 9-11 <laughs> is uh, I get all of his fireman gear. So whenever I smoke weed in New York City, I wear it. <laughs> yeah, so now people just think I'm a shitty fireman. But I'll be so high, I'll forget. Like, people come up to me and be like, you're a fucking disgrace. And I'll be like, you're a fucking disgrace. <laughs> I'll be like, oh shit, I'm a lieutenant. I forgot, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Have a good day, ma'am. <laughs> I didn't really care when my dad died. I, it, it didn't bother me very much because I was seven. You don't understand things when you're seven. You know, if it, if it happened now, I'd be in a world of trouble. But I'm actually, it's weird to say this. I'm lucky it happened when I was seven. I know that sounds weird, but it's, a, it's the real thing. Like, I remember my dad died and my mom was like, your dad's dead, but we got you a PlayStation 2. And I was like, yeah, cool. I was like, that seems about even. That's pretty fair. No, I'm serious. I really didn't care. I was like, I'm gonna push my mom down the stairs and get a PS3. That was fucking ridiculous. It's my new life of murder and toys. <laughs> What's weird is my grandma on my mom's side, my mom's mom, she, uh, her birthday's on 9-11. And she never liked my dad. <laughs> kind of fishy, isn't it? <laughs> I always wanted to ask her. I always wanted to be like, Hey, Grandma. On the low. <laughs> Did you make any wishes? <laughs> I want to get a tattoo. Uh, I want to get my dad's initials. Um, it's a very, like, Italian, Staten Island thing to do. I feel like Italian people are almost like waiting for someone in their family to die so they can go get a tattoo. <laughs> I'm serious, you ever been to like an Italian funeral or wake and the son of whoever died has like the prayer card going down their side? <laughs> You're like, how the fuck did you do that already? And it's like healed. <laughs> I, um, I wanna get my dad's initials, you know? I wanna get it tattooed on me. I feel like it'd be very cool. Uh, but I found out recently I can't. I don't know why I never noticed it. I guess I just never pay attention. But my dad's initials are SMD. Yeah. That's why we named a special SMD. But SMD also has other meanings, like, for instance, suck my dick. That's the more popular meaning, believe it or not. So my friends are like, you can't get that tattoo because people will think you're an asshole. You know? And I, I agree. I'm like, you're right, I shouldn't. But then I thought about it, I was like, I should. I was like, I could only win. I was like, if someone has the balls to bring it up to me, oh, I will win, like, so fast. <laughs> like, I will never lose. It's so dope. Think about that. I'll have it on my neck, fucking having a good time. Girls come up to me and they're like, you're a fucking pig. 
all I gotta do is be like, <laughs> actually, it's my dead dad's initials. And then they'll feel so bad, they'll probably suck my dick. <laughs> hey guys, you've been amazing, thank you. Thank you for coming out, thank you very much.